NASA made what it calls a historic announcement at the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida, Tuesday. Respectively, the vehicles are Boeing CST-100 and, and SpaceX's Dragon. The total potential contract value is $6.8 billion over the initial contract period. The spacecraft will launch from here at the Kennedy Space Center Cape Canaveral Launch Complex. NASA Administrator Charles Bolden said the agency has had full support from President Barack Obama and the Congress. From day one, the Obama administration has made it very clear that the greatest nation on Earth should not be dependent on any other nation to get into space. Since NASA retired its space shuttle program in 2011, U.S. astronauts and equipment have traveled to the International Space Station on Russian rockets. The fare price has increased to more than $70 million per seat. Kathy Leaders, a manager of NASA's commercial crew program, said Boeing was awarded $4.2 billion and SpaceX $2.6 billion for their respective vehicles. Once NASA determines SpaceX and Boeing have met our requirements, the systems will be certified for NASA human spaceflight missions. They will then conduct at least two and up to six missions under these contracts to deliver a crew of four to the International Space Station. The missions also will carry powered cargo and vital science experiments to the space station before returning to U.S. soil. The spacecraft also will serve as lifeboats for astronauts for up to 200 days in case of emergency. Astronaut Mike Fink said the new partnership is a great achievement not only for NASA but for all Americans. The biggest thing I think is going to that's going to really help us with the commercial program crew program is that uh, it's, we're going to have more people working aboard the International Space Station, conducting even more scientific research than we've been able to do so far. And think about that, and it gives us a, a capability of uh, seven people uh, on an ISS mission instead of uh, just six. NASA officials say the new program will allow them to learn more about long-duration flights, helping clear the way for the agency's greater ambition of sending people to Mars. Today's announcement um, sets the stage for what promises to be the most ambitious and exciting chapter in the history of NASA and human spaceflight. U.S. space officials say the development of the new vehicles will especially focus on the safety of crew members. Extensive safety testing and obtaining certification for manned flights are included in the cost of the vehicles. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.